Hey folks, I'm Milo Tash. If you've seen any of my other knife reviews, you'll know that I've got small-ish hands. A fancy study on the proportions of the human body by NASA shows that I have significantly smaller hands than the average adult male, but larger hands than the average adult female. Society tells me that most of the activities I enjoy doing, clothes I like wearing, and tools I intend to use to get my projects done should either be pink camo or worn and held by a stereotypical male hand, aka making my hand considered small by comparison. This can make finding well-fit gear challenging. I combat this by specifically seeking out close-to-perfect product reviews online, where the gear was docked points from the stereotypical male market, largely due to the size or fit. When I read phrases in the product reviews of, love the material but too small, or I'd give it five stars if it was just a little bit bigger, I know I've found a contender for something that might work well in my tiny paws. So today, I've got a mini review for you of a great little blade that has been by my side for the last three months. Let's get into it. This is the 1929 by Finch Knife Co. Finch was started by two folks who loved the outdoors and wanted to give the classic pocket knife a makeover. The 1929 is a perfect example of this, where it's a modern take on a very traditional classic Barlow blade. Styled after what park rangers would have carried back when Grand Teton National Park first opened in, you guessed it, 1929, this lovely little apple slicer has a beautiful satin finish, a fully flat grind on a clip point blade that has a nice broadness to it in the belly. I originally discovered Finch in Outdoor Magazine, which featured one of their other blades, the Runtley, on one of their gear drop feature pages. Spoiler, I got the Runtley, but when navigating their website, I fell in love with the 1929. Hey, if you got a second, hit that like button down below and subscribe. Helps me and the channel out a lot. Let's get back to it. They say that the 1929 is a gentleman's pocket knife, but ready to gear up and hit the trails, and I can totally get down with that. There are some pretty sweet different scale options for this blade. When I got this back in May, I originally wanted the Coca-Bola scale, which is a dark wood finish, but couldn't find it anywhere online. Instead, I scored a Ghost G10 scale, which reminded me of my very first pocket knife I ever purchased from Kershaw sometime back in the early 2000s, and I'm super happy that I did. When the Olive Wood scale was launched a few months back, I grabbed that one as well and have been so stoked to unbox it. All Finch knives come in a sweet little package with custom fit lining. There's stickers galore and a signature band-aid, which is a lovely touch. There are a lot of different hardwoods that knife scales can be made out of, and this olive wood is gorgeous. I've never owned an olive wood handled knife, but I love the yellowish color and the darker streaks that run throughout the scales. I read that olive wood can darken over time, which I'm into, and I'm pretty happy with this particular scale that I received. Everyone talks about Finch's actions. The action refers to how the knife opens, and this particular action has caged ball bearings and opens reliably every single time. There's a feeling to how it sinks open. You just don't want to stop fidgeting with it. I've caught myself at home at my desk just fiddling with this, opening and closing on repeat. I can't help it. There's something that just clicks with the action in the best way possible. The clip point is set to a fairly deep carry position, and the thickness of this knife as a whole is wild. I've never carried a knife this girthy before, but the meatiness is kind of lovely. The blade is perfectly centered, and it fits perfectly inside my hand. No pinky dangling off or butt end protruding. I love that there's nothing else sharp on this blade. The only sharp edge is the blade itself. The corners are rounded off, everything's smooth, and the geometry is just stunning. The blade is made of 154, which is a nice budget-ish friendly steel. It sharpens well, holds the edge, and it came out of the box ready to slice and dice. Let's give it a few cuts on a little snack.
I intend to use this pretty much for everything. Cutting apples, slicing cheese, whittling sticks, opening mail, etc. This is not meant for aggressive outdoor activities in rain where your hand could slip. There's not much to keep your hand in place besides the handle itself. It's just a fun blade to slice with. I want to grab this out of my pocket while on a rest stop at a hike and take a few passes at a snack or break down the package that just arrived in the mail. I'm stoked with this. And if you're looking for a smaller handled knife with some good meat on its handle with rock solid construction, this is the one. Thanks for taking a second to check out this little blade with me today. As always, I'm Milo Tash. Thanks for watching.